Today is a massive day for Lord of the Rings online players. There are two new servers, not just any servers, but legendary servers coming to Lotro. What does that mean for me, you, and anyone else playing the game? I'll tell you. What it means, in my opinion, is a massive benefit to not only current players of the game, but also the new player experience and the longevity of Lord of the Rings Online. Now, Lord of the Rings Online, don't get me wrong, is a well-established MMO. However, I'm sure as many of you are well aware, if you play the game for any length of time, the new player experience, and some to some extent, the current player experience is not always the best. Now, the two points, of course, that I'm going to majorly refer to here is point one being the lag, the servers. I don't know what it is about the servers. They're just maybe running on an older engine or the bandwidth just can't support it all but they do lag. Whether you've played for 10 minutes or 10 hours, you will experience it at some point. Secondarily is the massive climb to level cap. To some of us, like myself, I really do enjoy it. I enjoy progressing throughout Middle Earth and just taking my time. But to many people, some people just, just feel left behind. They just feel like, well, I'm never going to experience the content that I want to play because I can't get to level cap quick enough. Now, the legendary servers are hopefully going to do their best to address that. And the way they're going to try and address point number one is that one of the legendary servers, Mordor, I believe, is going to be based in the EU, which actually just further spreads the network for the bandwidth of the server. So many of you, if you are EU-related friends that are trying to play Lord of the Rings online, if you've struggled notoriously with lag beforehand, then give this server a go because it might just not necessarily fix you know, all of your issues, but it should reduce stress and the pain that you have when just trying to experience the game. Secondarily, these legendary servers are going to squish the level cap for the time being. Upon release of the legendary servers, the level cap will be at level 50. Now, these level caps will increase with expansions as they are released. But the idea is that everyone plays along, levels up at a similar capacity, and the level cap difference is, is much, much further reduced than what it is currently. There are, of course, an abundance of people that are playing at the moment that are 150, they've got multiple level 150 characters because they've played for years. But you've also got the introduction of newer players who are running around at levels 10, 20, and 30. There seems to be quite a grey area in sort of the, the mid, mid realms of Lord of the Rings Online. You've either got really, really low level characters or you've got really, really high end, powerful players in Middle Earth. So hopefully the legendary servers are going to squish that and just make it a bit more of a cohesive experience where everyone can kind of play together, enjoy this a similar content to each other at the same pace. Now, I'm not technically minded in the slightest, but what I do know is that our client for Lotro is currently a 64-bit client. However, our servers, from what I can understand, are running at a 32-bit rate. The new legendary servers are going to step that up, and they're going to be based on a 64-bit server base. Now, as much as you guys may know the ins and outs of what that actually means, it doesn't take a genius to work out. This is definitely going to be a positive for us and the game. Hopefully it will put less stress on the server, or even if it puts more stress on, it should be able to handle it a lot, lot better. Now, as far as the new content goes for the legendary servers, I'll leave a link below in the description. You guys don't need me to spell that out for you, but definitely go and have a look. There's some really interesting stuff there. One slight caveat to the legendary servers is that you will need to be an active VIP to play them. But if it increases or um, betters your experience when playing, that is a very, very small price to pay for a fantastic game. The reason why I'm so optimistic about the introduction of these new legendary servers is because I feel like Lotro for the longest time has held this like stick that it's been hit with over its head for many, many years, one of them being lag and one of them being the new player experience. And I really hope that now SSG are taking all of this information on board and really putting that out there, that as much as it will always look like an older game, there's no getting around that, it will, but hopefully it will fall in line with some of its potential competitors and the gap between the negatives and positives to other experiences will get smaller and smaller. I'm not going to lie to you, it took a lot of me to push past the new player experience and I probably only did that because I love the world of Tolkien. I love Lord of the Rings, so I just wanted to be in that world, whether it was laggy or grindy or not. I just wanted to be there. But a lot of people, of course, won't be able to look past that. So having something that can bypass those potential issues, I think is going to do absolute wonders for the project that SSG are working on. But let's not make this all about the newer players as well. There are a lot of 
old time veteran players of Lord of the Rings Online that have got far more hours in the game than I have that are going to experience newer content or even older content again that they've not played in a long time and hopefully with a fresh set of eyes with more people around them. Apparently when they're running a lot of the content it may well be that the server they're playing on with the people they usually play with it might seem quite barren, it might seem quite empty and hopefully these servers will be more densely populated to make Lord of the Rings Online feel more alive than it already is. I really hope Sand and Stone Games continues to listen to the community feedback and feedback from other MMORPGs as well because what they've done with this game after all of these years and the updates they continuously put out now is incredibly impressive. As a huge Lord of the Rings Online fan and a huge Lord of the Rings fan, I genuinely can't thank them enough for what they've currently done. So I guess if you're watching this and you've not picked up Lord of the Rings Online in a long time, I guess this is my message to you to give it a go. You know, see what you've potentially been missing or see what there is now to gain. I've been me, you've been you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.